welcome G. Let's start Kotlin tutorial. Today I am going to discuss about higher order function. Okay. So we uh, already discussed ki what are the syntax in the semantic Kotlin offer to define functions, what are the syntax, how define functions, how consume functions. So in object-oriented programming language uh, like Java, generally function take an input and return output. The general input in the form of object and output form of maybe object. Our input can be primitive data types or return type can be primitive data types. Similarly, in Kotlin, all the function can take input as a your uh, primitive data type as input or user defined data type as input or function itself as an argument. This is the new things uh, which you know you one function can take input parameter as another function and similarly your function can return generally return mean any primitive data types or user defined data types or now in Kotlin you can return function itself. So Kotlin say higher order function a function that take another function as a parameter or return a function as well as so now Kotlin is uh, giving uh, given more flexibility your function not only take your primitive data types not take only object of particular class or interface object it's also take input argument as a your function and can return function as a value as well as. So how it's feasible? The reason is that in Kotlin, in Kotlin uh, functions are treated as a first class citizen. Okay, just like a primitive value. So you can assign them to a variable or pass them to any function as a function as, well, as a parameter. So due to that, Kotlin functions uh, treated as a first class citizen that means this is the like a value this value can be assigned to a variable or can pass to into another function so generally uh, this can be uh, achieved by using the lambda expressions or uh, functional reference okay so these are the lambda expression is the fundamental principle of higher order functions okay so let us look uh, what would be the syntax and semantic and how we can write a function that take input parameter as another functions so you can see now this function as a higher order function let us example so first example, let's say we are taking function as a parameter argument. Okay, so taking function as a parameter. So let's give this is the one function, calculate, take a two input argument, one your uh, x value, another is a y value. And third is a third take another function. Third take another one function. That function can take a two input argument and return one output. Okay. So syntax would be let's give we have a right of function. Let's give calculate that take a two uh, three input parameter. First parameter your uh, x integer value. and second your y as an integer value and third you take a one uh, function 
uh, fun maybe uh, operation. A function operation. And this function, this function, uh, what the generally this fun this is a function name. Generally, uh, in Kotlin, whenever you are declaring a variable, first to declare your uh, variable and then data type. Similarly, your y is a variable and data type. And this is the, your uh, variable, fn operation, and what would be the data type? Okay, so data type is your function itself. So data type say ki this is the function, then take two integer argument, let's integer one, integer two, and that can return your integer value. Right? That can return, and this is my whole function at that. Okay. So this way. Or you can say might be uh, this function uh, can return some value as well as okay so this is the so question is that ki how you are going to call this function this is a good uh, let's key i am going to uh, consume calculate so here we have to pass three argument first argument in integer number let second argument in another number third argument is a function so you have write one function then take a two input argument and return the value. Let's key here just I pass printed and call. Okay. X equal to dollar x and y equal to dollar y. So here you have to so uh, in the Kotlin you can use uh, this write uh, complete uh, this function definition inside itself so here you can write a function itself okay let's key our uh, function name anything uh, okay and that uh, your uh, take a two argument let's key uh, you can using the lambda expression and you can override let's key a variable and uh, b variable and let's key they return like uh, a plus b okay should be there okay so using this uh, way you can write your lambda expression so this is a function to input and return output they take a two input a and b and return the output like a plus b so let's run it will take time why now now your function is in work but uh, what here we can do here you know so we have a two input argument now we have a one function so we can use this one function we can use uh, this one function and uh, that take a two argument let's can pass your one argument and then the argument uh, let's get this function returns this fun function returns sum so here say well result and print them 
your result equal to plus result and you can say dollar result so here you can test now this function or invoke whatever your function passing so here if uh, you have a more than right so this way these two functions are passed here two variable a and b and they are do some plus operation so in this is way you can say this function calculate function known as a higher order function or you can say ki i have another function that like uh, this function should be multiply the right so here this operations is depend this what uh, what operation do they perform plus or minus or multiplication depend upon the what function definition are you passing here we are function definition passing like multi, uh, multiplications they are doing multiplication on your input number right so this is the way or uh, you can uh, let's uh, write another maybe uh, you can write this way like uh, we have another function like uh, some function some function that take uh, two argument like a integer b integer uh, that's just the take a return your return like a plus b okay this uh, should uh, be return type here int so here so here you can also write uh, instead of writing this sim here you can say i am write your sum i can pass this sum a and b to the here let's here you say multiply by 10 plus uh, multiply by 10 so in this way you can write any function so here you can say first for okay this is here three ten maybe you can write here print the call call sum a equal to dollar a comma b equal to dollar b okay it is in the card sum so here you know this operation what uh, the what operations this whatever you passing you passing this sum as a argument this is no are passing directly here directly you can invoke so so when this line evaluate then this function was invoked when this line is evaluated then this functions are invoked so uh, you can see this is the way and one good part is that you know if any uh, function any function and the last any function uh, you are calling and that uh, last parameter is your lambda expression so you can write this code as a this way you just come out from this is the way this way you can write this function like this. this is the general Kotlin preference where whenever you are invoking any function that take lambda expression as a last parameter then you can uh, write uh, lambda expression outside of this uh, call okay let's key for 5 20 
this is the 4 5 call result 20 so in this is the way uh, in this is the preferable way you to call any lambda expression if that lambda expression is the last parameter of the function right so this function this function known as a your higher order function why this function take input as another functions like they take a sum as a function they take a multiplication as a function they take a division as a function any function but that function surely take a two input argument and return one value so similarly this is the example where uh, we have a like this is the operation operation whatever operations this operation say two input argument and return one value they invoke a two input argument what input argument your x getting and y getting and you can invoke the calculate function as you do to your number and third your functions this is the function defined as a input two input argument this is the two input sign signature and that return one value that return one value or you can directly pass as a lambda expression so now let's say take another example like a your function can return another function okay so let us here discuss so we have one function operation operation is a returning a returning a function if you look here here uh, we have write a sum function sum function are here the return type return time sake they are returning the our integer value so here you can say one function can return another function uh, so let us say we have a fun operation okay that just does not again input argument okay so this is the general so here return type you say return type they return in a function that function take one one input argument and return another input argument so here you have to write a function that return not a primitive value or object that return a function so uh, here let's give we have write one function like a function let's see we have a square we have write a square let's take a uh, one argument here and that return just like a uh, uh, square okay so here kotlin have a options if uh, your function is like uh, here the one liner function you can omit return types as well as you can omit uh, open curly braces as well as you can even return return types the here uh, kotlin compiler automatically identifies this function return or one integer value and this is the your business logic so here in the function you can say this function return another function you can say you return a square function okay now this is square function return now this operation you can invoke right so here say okay, we have a one operation this operations uh, this is the one well, let's give that data one f one function that data and from a function one you can invoke you know this take one argument argument you can invoke one argument let's get if i pose and that return r1 r1 dollar r1 so in this way you can say one function can return another function n okay this is the system so here what you show uh, this is the op this is the operation function i know operation function uh, they return another function they return another function so this is the year this is the function and this function this function can take one input argument and return one output this function can take one input argument and return another function value and that you are using so 
you can uh, write this way as well. Here we have the option to write another function or you can say directly return later. You can say operation 1, you can say operation 1. Let's get and here instead of say ki I uh, directly return the code. input argument your input and return type your return type so let's key input multiply by input multiply by input Here you can write one F one in this way square or one argument or two argument this way directly you can write the code here. Directly code, or let's give the return. So we have options, so you can write this. One. So here you can say operation one, one, let's. So we have options key B kind uh, so this way it's written the queue. So you have options uh, you can uh, return a function it's just write another function and use a function reference invoke return type or directly write your complete functions itself as a lambda expression. So this is the way you can say uh, we can uh, one function can return another function. So this function known as your higher order function. So this is a small uh, uh, discussion about your higher order functions. So any function you can say higher order function that function take input parameter as another function okay and might be can return another function as well as so this is the higher order function this is very uh, handy way to write a code and uh, this is a uh, very uh, handy in the con uh, concept of your lambda expression so please uh, uh, use lambda expression directly are your function reference uh, to returnings or to invoking a function or a passing a function okay thank you for watching this video